Hello everyone, my name is Keshav Jadho and in this video we will solve a numerical base round duct design using equal friction method. So we will use friction chart to find dimensions of the duct for a given condition. So problem statement is like this, for a air duct system as shown in figure, so this figure is given to us. Using equal friction method, determine the duct diameter and velocity for section AB that is this section, BC this section and branch BD. Assume velocity in the main duct AB 10 meter per second. Also calculate maximum pressure drop in the duct system. So here it is mentioned that we have to solve this numerical by using equal friction method. So first we will write given data. So in numerical velocity in main duct AB it is given. So we can write phi AB is equal to 10 meter per second. Also from this given figure we can write length AB is equal to 30 meter, length BC 30 meter and length of branch duct BD is equal to 10 meter. Also volume flow rate through branch duct BD is 120 cmm that is meter cube per minute and through BC it is 360 cmm that is meter cube per minute. So we can write QBD is equal to 120 meter cube per minute and if we divide by 60 to this 120 we will get 2 meter cube per second. Similarly to convert 360 meter cube per minute into meter cube per second we can divide to this 360 by 60 we will get QBC is equal to 6 meter cube per second. Now here volume flow rate through this section AB is not given. So whatever the volume of air coming from this section AB it is going in BD and BC section. So volume flow rate through this AB section QAB is equal to addition of QBD and QBC. So this 120 plus 360 it is 480 meter cube per minute. This 480 meter cube per minute we can convert in meter cube per second by dividing to this term by 60. So we will get QAB is equal to 8 meter cube per second. So this is the friction chart. In this friction chart on x axis friction loss in mm of water per meter is given. On y axis air volume in meter cube per second is given. These inclined lines are lines for constant velocity. So this line it is for 2 meter per second velocity. This line is for 3 meter per second. This is for 4, 5, 6 like this. So these are the constant velocity lines and these inclined lines are constant diameter lines. So this line is for 100 mm diameter this is for 125 mm, this is 150. So these inclined lines are constant diameter lines. So to calculate diameter of a duct out of three parameter, we should know two parameter. So these three parameters are friction loss in mm of water per meter, second air volume in meter cube per second and third it is velocity of air in meter per second. So out of these three parameter, if we know any two, then we can locate the point on chart and we can calculate diameter of duct. So remember this friction chart is applicable for circular duct. If in given problem rectangular duct is mentioned, then in that case we have to convert that rectangular duct into equivalent diameter of circular duct. I have prepared separate video to calculate equivalent diameter of circular duct for a given rectangular duct and link of that video is given in description of this video. So here we have to calculate diameter of each section of the duct. So for duct AB we have velocity and volume flow rate. For duct section AB we have velocity VAB is equal to 10 meter per second and volume flow rate QAB is equal to 8 meter cube per second. So we can locate point on this 
friction chart by using these two parameter these inclined lines are constant velocity lines so we have to locate 10 meter per second velocity line so here this is the 10 meter per second constant velocity line so i will highlight this line then volume flow rate is 8 meter cube per second so here it is 8 so we can highlight this line so here we will get intersection point and if you see the constant diameter line passing through this point it is 1000 mm so this line it is the constant diameter line having value 1000 mm so we can write diameter of duct section ab is equal to 1000 mm that is equal to 1 meter similarly if you draw vertical line from this intersection point then we will get friction loss in mm of water per meter so if you draw vertical line if you draw vertical line then we can see here friction loss value is 0.1 so we can write friction loss in mm of water per meter length of duct is equal to 0 0.1 mm of water column so we will prepare one table so in this table this first column is duct sections second column is volume flow rate of air in meter cube per second third column is velocity in meter per second then just now we have calculated diameter of duct section ab we can write here diameter of duct section AB is equal to 1 meter. Also, we have calculated friction loss per meter length in mm of water column. So, for section AB, it is equal to 0.1 mm of water column. Now, in this numerical, it is mentioned that we have to use equal friction method. So, we can consider this friction loss per meter length constant for each section of the duct. So, we can write here friction loss per meter length for section BC and BD is also equal to 0.1 mm of water column. And by using friction chart, we can calculate diameter of this section BD and BC. So, we will draw a line for friction loss per meter length 0.1 mm of water column. So, this is 0.1. So, we can draw one vertical line passing from this point. So, for duct section BC, volume flow rate is 6 meter cube per second. So, here we can locate this point 6 and we can draw horizontal line from this. So, here we will get intersection point. Now, I will zoom in this chart. We can see here from this intersection point, this line is passing. So, this line it is for 900 mm diameter pipe. Okay. So, constant diameter passing through this intersection line it is 900 mm which is equal to 0.9 meter. So, we can write here diameter of duct section BC is equal to 0.9 meter. So, we can calculate velocity of duct by using formula velocity V is equal to volume flow rate of air in meter cube per second divided by cross section area of duct so q it is 6 and cross section area a we can calculate by using formula pi by 4 d square where d is 0.9 meter so we will get velocity of air passing through duct section bc is equal to 9.4314 similarly we can calculate diameter of duct section bd so here volume flow rate is 2 meter cube per second so here it is 2 meter cube per second so we can draw horizontal line from this and if we see here from this intersection point this line is passing this line having dimensions 600 mm so 600 mm is equal to 0.6 meter so we can write here diameter of duct section bd is equal to 0.6 and to calculate velocity we will use this formula so q is equal to 2 meter cube per second and cross section area is equal to pi over d square where d is 0.6 meter so by putting the values we will get velocity of air passing through duct bd is equal to 7.0735 so we can also calculate velocities from this friction chart so here we can see velocity it is approximately 9.4 meter per second 
for section BD, velocity will be nearly equal to 7 meter per second. So in this way, by using equal friction method, we can find dimensions of circular duct for the given conditions. Now in numerical, it is mentioned that also calculate maximum pressure drop in the duct system. So here friction loss is equal per meter length in each section of the duct. So the length of duct in which air is flowing for longer length in that duct pressure drop will be maximum. So here air is starting from point A, it is delivered at point D and it is delivered at point C. So total length between A to D it is 30 plus 10 it is 40 and total length between A to C it is 30 plus 30 60. So longer length is A to C. So maximum pressure drop will be in duct AC. So total length is 60 meter. We have friction loss per meter length of duct in mm of water column. So if you multiply to this length by this friction loss then we will get maximum pressure drop is equal to 60 into 0 0.1 which is equal to 6 mm of water column. Now this mm of water column we can convert in Newton per meter square. For that purpose we have to multiply by 9.81. So if you multiply to this 6 we will get 58.86 Newton per meter square which is the maximum pressure drop in the given duct system. Further, if fan efficiency is given to us, then we can calculate input power required to fan. So by using this formula, that is fan power is equal to volume flow rate Q in meter cube per second into maximum pressure loss in Newton per meter square divided by fan efficiency. So we will get fan power in watt. Thank you.